Hello once again. Good day to all of you. So, we are in our new topic which is phase sequences. So, before we do that, uh, if you are new on my channel, please subs on my channel rather, please subscribe on the subscribe button so that you will be notified for the new lectures that we will upload on the next uh, few days or a few weeks if that will be the case. Now, uh, uh, also I want to thank all of the uh, subscribers and who comment or suggest to the uh, development of the, of my uh, lessons. And if you want to uh, to backtrack the uh, past lessons, you can have uh, you can see it in the description of this video, and there are some links there so that you can be uh, uh, you can be recalled on some of the uh, topics that we have discussed so far. Okay, so let us go to phase sequence, but before we do that, we need to have some basics or these are some uh, basic information of the angle conditions. So uh, I call this angle conditions of the phasors because we will tackle more on this on the next few topics more on phasor diagram. So. Again, we already tackled this one on AC circuits, but we need to recall some of them so that uh, it will be, we, we will be uh, replenished on some of the important uh, concepts and principles. Okay, now, first, in terms of the angle, but before we do that, of course, we already know a phasor. A phasor, again, is a vector complex number. In terms of polar, we have a magnitude in a direction part. So the direction part can be plus or minus here. So the V bar angle means that is a magnitude and this one is the direction part. So how can we determine on the direction part if that is leading or lagging? Okay, now first on the angle representation, please t take note, direction or angle is the same or displacement. Okay, when you say a leading condition, the angle or the theta angle theta here, no, will have a leading condition if the angle rotates at a counterclockwise from a respective reference. So what's the meaning of that? So if I will use here a phasor diagram, okay, and that is, for example, 5 bar 30 positive means positive angle means a... Uh, leading condition. It means if this is our reference always at the x-axis, the 5 bar 30 means 5 units, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and the angle is 30 degree, okay, with respect to a reference and it rotates the angle in a counterclockwise direction. So that is the meaning of a leading angle, okay. The angle will rotate at a counterclockwise based from a respective reference or reference vector which is here at bar zero on the Cartesian plane. Okay, now how about if that is a uh, lagging uh, condition? So this is the counter of leading. Instead of counterclockwise, it is, it is clockwise, okay, and it is a negative angle value or minus value. So it means if you have 5 bar negative 30 if we plot this on the uh, on the Cartesian plane so the phasor diagram will be this one you have five units one two three four five and from the reference clockwise and it is negative 30 degree so that's the representation of five bar negative 30 okay so it rotates the angle at, at a clockwise direction from a respective reference and thus, we can have you know, the uh, power factor indicators. So it will be dependent on the vector. We will use the vector diagrams to, uh, to uh, see the conditions. If we're lagging power factor, we already discussed power factor from AC circuits. Okay, You can recall that video there. So that is I lags V by a certain angle theta. So please take note, if you have this statement, please note on the right of the statement which means that is always your reference vector and the left here 
This corresponds to the rotation of the vector if that is lags or leads. So, please take note of that because we will have that on our examples later on on the phase sequence. So, it can also be like this. Okay? It can be represented also like this. V leads the current by a certain angle theta. They're the same, actually. And this will be uh, the inverse if that is leading power factor. I leads V by a certain angle theta, or simply, in other words, V will lag the current by a certain angle theta. And again, they are on the same condition. Okay, thus, you need to know these principles because we are ready. We will go to the uh, vector diagrams on phase sequence on the next few problems. So, please stay tuned and God bless. Hello, once again. So, we will discuss today a very interesting topic under the uh, uh, power systems one or polyphase systems. And this is uh, phase sequences. So, we need to discuss first what is a balanced polyphase system and then we need to, uh, to know those principles first before we uh, discuss further what is positive or negative sequence. So, it is defined, balanced polyphase systems are defined or is defined as the magnitude of the voltage or current. It can be either phase or line are equal to each other. And then the uh, direction or displacement of these vectors are 120 degree apart. So it means what is phase or line voltage or current? Okay, in terms of voltage first. Okay, in terms of voltage first. When you say line voltage, it is dependent on polarity markings or polarity markings of the letters. So this is line voltage. VAB, BBC, and VCA. So we will anticipate this one when uh, you have the topic of uh, different types of systems, uh, three phase systems. It can be a delta or a Y. Now, when you say VAN, VBN, VCN, we call it as a phase voltage. So please take note the polarity marks plus minus, plus minus. Plus minus. It means the first letter A, B, plus minus B, C, plus minus C, A, plus minus. Otherwise, if the letter was inverse, so you need to use the uh, antiphasor that we have discussed on AC circuits. And then this one, A, N, plus minus, plus minus, plus minus, which is very clear. N is too neutral. So, it, so that's why it is called in a per... Uh, phase voltage. Now, how about current? So, if you anticipate IAB, IBC, ICA, this is so-called phase current. And if you anticipate IA, IB, IC, this is line currents. So, these are the currents that you can see on a Y connected or a delta connected because IAB, IBC, and ICA are delta connected. IA, IB, and IC are why connect? So we will uh, tackle this for, uh, tackle this further when we go to the delta connection, which is under the balanced polyphase systems. So we need to know what is a balanced polyphase first, which is it is defined equal magnitudes, and they differ in terms of displacement 120 degrees. You anticipate three vectors. Okay, let us move forward to the first type of sequence. The first type of sequence is a positive sequence or an ABC clockwise system. Okay, we already tackled angle displacement from, from our last um, slide. So, uh, it is called an ABC sequence because you have an A, you have an B, and you have a C clockwise and you have three vectors. Okay, this is just an assumption that is this in terms of phase voltage. Okay, we consider here the bar zero as reference. So as we have discussed, a vector is composed of two important things in terms of polar. We have the magnitude and the direction. The EP here is the magnitude of the phase voltage. And thus, 
as we have described in a balanced polyphase system, and please take note by the way, these sequences are experienced by the source itself. Generator alone can be uh, ex cannot be experienced or it cannot be uh, a sequence on your motor. Always remember your loads always in synchronization with whatever the sequence of your supply or source. So this is always on the generator side. Okay, without further ado, as we have discussed in balanced polyphase system, you have three sets of vectors which has the same magnitude, which is EP, and they differ 120 degree apart. Okay, now you can see here a uh, very, very looks fam uh, uh, condition. If you have a negative and a positive, we discussed this one. If you're negative, you turn the angle in, uh, on your uh, reference in a clockwise direction, and you have a positive, you turn the angle in a counterclockwise direction. Thus, it is very clear here on this scenario. So look at the arrow signs. Okay, this is positive 120 and this is negative 120. So thus, how can you uh, create a uh, three-phase vector in terms of the corresponding sequence? Please take note, EAN is our reference, always our reference. You can use B or C, but to avoid confusion, we always use phase A, phase A. So it means that if you want to get B or C, you just add negative 120 for B and positive 120 for C for an ABC sequence. Please take note, we have the negative and positive there, which is based on the rotation of the angle. And please take note, our reference is at A. Or in other words, if this uh, uh, EAN has an angle, I could say theta, all you have to do is to have the theta here, which is your reference, and then same technique, you plus or minus 120, depends on sequence. If you have a positive sequence, you need to add negative 120 for EBN, and you need to add positive 120 for ECN on the angle reference of your phase A. You can fully understand it when we have the applications on problem solving. Okay, now we have the following statements, by the way. The following statements here are the statements corresponds to the positive sequence. So EAN leads EBN leads ECN by 120 or EL leads E pace by 30 degree or IL lags I pace by 30 degree. Now this uh, statements here are already in a summary form, but we can further derive this one on a separate lesson, especially when you're talking about a Y-connected and a delta-connected. And thus, okay, this is true for a positive sequence. The, uh, the line voltage always leads the phase voltage by 30, or the line current always lags the I phase by 30 degree. Or mathematically, we have this equation. That VL is equal to square root of 3, it will lead by 30. Or in terms of current, IL is equal to square root of 3 times I phase, lagging by 30 degrees. So, this is a box we're in. This is the summary of this statement. But we will further describe this one on a separate lesson since this is just a refresher. Okay, we will move on to negative sequence. Okay, let us uh, move forward to uh, our discussion on the next type of sequence, which is the negative sequence or the ACB sequence. So the only difference between the ABC and the negative sequence is, of course, the, uh, uh, the letter corresponds to the second. If our uh, letter of reference is A, the next is C, and the next is B for a negative sequence. However, for a positive sequence, it's an ABC clockwise. So that, this is ACB clockwise, and it is represented here by this phasor. Okay, we will do the uh, same uh, method. That our EAN is our phase voltage, which you could say EP bar zero. EP is the magnitude of the uh, phase voltage. And thus, if we do, we, do, we do the same pattern here, as you can see, EBN 
will lead past 120 with respect to the reference which is I could say as we have uh, discussed from the last slide the pace voltage at A or EAN so it is positive 120 and here so you can see the arrow sign is a clockwise direction so the, the 120 there with respect to reference AN is minus 120 or minus 124 ECN. Thus, as you can see here, it's very clear that the only difference between the positive negative sequence is your EBN must be positive 120 and ECN must add negative 120 with respect to the angle of phase A or EAN. Now, uh, what I have discussed so far, this uh, voltage or current, it can be current or it can be voltage. It can be phase or line. So please take note, this is just an example to illustrate or illustration to give you the conditions of what is a positive and negative sequence. So it can be applied to current as well. So in this case, if EAN has an angle theta, so what you will do, okay, is to add 120 for EBN and add negative 120 for ECN. And you have the negative sequence condition. Okay, the statements, we have EAN, E leads ECN, leads EBN by 120. So as you can see, AB and ECB here, leading from each other by 120. And then this is the inverse of the positive. EL lags E phase by 30 degrees on, a, on an ABC sequence, that is EL leads E phase. But here, EL lags. Now, your current will lead now your phase current by 30 degrees. Always take note, okay, we already discussed what is a uh, line or phase in terms of voltage or current. The, uh, uh, the statements is the inverse of the positive sequence. So, mathematically, VL is equal to V phase. It lags by 30 degrees. Please take note of the minus here. And this is leading on IL. IL is equal to square root 3 I phase positive 30. So it coincides on the statements here. And please take note, we will further discuss uh, this one, these statements here, on a separate lesson, a, mo a more comprehensive discussion. Since this is just a refresher or recollection of what you have already, already learned on your undergrad days. So let us move forward to the problem solving of this topic. See you there.